Okay, this is Aaron again with Exalted Lamb 1, and I have my second video I was talking about. A little bit different uh, this time, but uh, a little bit longer than the last one. Um, I'm going to get into some more connections with CV, as I'm calling it here. As you see, the again, the first uh, word is C, starts with C, which is 3. The second word is V, starts with V, which is 22. So that's 322 Skull and Bones. And talk about some of these connections. And I'm going to also bring in my brother Dallas um, with Whiteboard Dramatria on this video as well. And I want to recommend him highly. And I'm going to talk about him in a little bit here. So here we go. So, of course, CV has was also recently changed to COVID-19. All right. And if you just do simple Dramatria on that, C equals 3, O equals 15, V equals 22, I equals 9, D equals 4, and then the dash... And then 1 plus 9 equals 10. And then you t in Gematria, the zeros don't mean anything. Take away the zero and you got 1. And we keep uh, compressing numbers. So 3 plus 1 plus 5 in the CO is 9. Then we have 22, 9 and 4. And keep compressing. 9 plus 2 plus 2 is 13. And then 9 plus 4 is 13. And like I mentioned before, excuse me. Um, the COVID is also in iPad Goat show that the previous videos I've shown where the egg um, is basically vit, has vid in it. The whole COVID is 9494 and uh, different ways. And I'm going to get into all that right now. But um, and then so we reduce down to 1313 1 and we keep reducing. Then we have 13 plus 13 equals 26. And, and we have one. Well, what is that? Well, that is backwards. 126 okay or january 26 for example or 126 or forward it was two plus six is eight if you keep reducing and then one 81 well, why is that important i'm going to get into that here right now because 126 was january 26 this year uh mr kobe bryant was killed um who knows what actually happened if he's really dead uh, who knows all that stuff but it was definitely all in the numbers and I'm going to talk about that here. So, and we're talking about how he relates to this COVID-19, the CV, um, and everything else, and how it relates to the Antichrist, the former Prez, uh, B.O., uh, I call him Stinky B.O., okay, and, and all that. So basically, he was born on August 23rd, 1978, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, spelled out completely, is 117 Two four three in English uh, Jewish ordinal and Jewish um, Jewish gematria is one six one one. So basically, uh, one of the ways that they do numbers is when they have three letters or three numbers, they times them as well secretly, and they do different things. So I'm going to share with this with this with you. So eleven seventeen is really eleven and or sorry eleven seven is really eleven times seven, which is seven seven, and then uh, four and three can be combined to be seven. Or 2 times 7 is 14. So we have 14, 14, or 7, 7, 7 plus 7 is 14, 14, or 7, 7. We're, what we're really going for here is 7, 7. I'm showing you, I'm going to show you this. And then 1 and 6 is 7 times 11 is 7, 7 as well. That's one way to do it. And so then he died. The plane, uh, the helicopter crash was um, is um, Calab. Basis, Calabasas, is that how you say it? I'm not sure. California, full spelling of Calabasas, California, in Jewish reduction. Again, we're in Jewish here for a couple different reasons right now because he has to do with somebody I'm going to talk about, which is the Jewish Messiah that's coming, which, like oh, I actually already said, um, it's actually Stinky B.O. So the fake Messiah that's coming. Uh, so Jewish reduction is 7 7. And again, a Jewish ordinal is 14, which is 7 plus 7. And then Jewish, regular Jewish, is the reason why I'm mentioning this is because it's 4, and then 2 plus 8 is one is 10. Take away the zero is 41, and he died at 41. But what is it backwards? It's 14, which is 7 plus 7 again. So we have all these seven sevens. And let's keep going. His spouse, Vanessa Lane Bryant, uh, she in Jewish reduction again, again Jewish reduction in all three ends up being seven seven. Can you get that? Can you get that? Top one is eleven times seven is seven seven. Okay, so let's go down to the bottom one here seven seven, and then Jewish this regular Jewish is one plus six is seven, two plus five is sevens. Just different ways of doing the same thing. Okay, because they do everything all the same, then it'll be very obvious, and no one will ever figure this stuff out. 
Uh, so anyway, <laughs> uh, be very obvious that everybody would figure this out is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so that's, hopefully you see that. Uh, it's pretty crazy. I'm going to show you a lot more stuff. You will not believe the connections with this virus and and Kobe Bryant. Okay, so this is uh, my brother Dallas at Whiteboard Gematria, like I mentioned here. Um, I'm going to include a video of his on the end of this video, with this video. Um, he does a great job, and he has some different um, takes on things than I do and different perspectives, but he comes to very similar conclusions in some ways, and he come, and he come, the basically the numbers point to very similar things that I've been talking about. Um, of course, he's going to have some of his own ways of looking at things, of course, but we come at the, a lot of the similar things in different ways because of our different approaches, but it's amazing. So what he did, which was astonishing to me, is he put in COVID in the, uh, it's basically English to Hebrew translator on Google, I believe. And so he put in COVID on the top there, as you can see, okay, and he, again, he's at Whiteboard Jumatra, COVID on the top, and it translated it to this word in Hebrew. And then what he did is he copied this put this back into the Hebrew, and then here's English, and he put that in, and he had it calculate that. What is that? Can you believe it? Kobe. I um, mean, he's going to talk more about what that means and some things on his video here. That's part of my, it'll be right after mine here on the same video. So uh, that's pretty astonishing. I'm going to show you far more connections, but that is amazing. So basically, it's the Kobe virus, basically. Okay, and he he figured that out. Okay, which is amazing. So co also COVID nineteen um, is basically shown here, and I've seen a few times in orange like this. And orange is in full reduction is thirty three. Of course, Freemasonry is thirty three. All, all these things are thirty three. They're really in the thirty threes, of course. And then of course Kobe is thirty three. That's a big coincidence. And eh, no. And then of course because Kobe is thirty three. What was his jersey when he was at uh, in Lower Marion High School? 33. And that's not a coincidence either. In fact, if we look at his jersey, Lower Marion, and this is several different ciphers. We have full reduction, single reduction, Jewish reduction, Jewish ordinal, and Jewish. This is pretty astonishing, actually. But we're going to talk about these numbers here. So 62, and 62 and 62 twice. Again, backwards is 26, and the day he died was 226. I mean, just two six. And then this is five plus nine is 14, which is seven, seven. Then we have 14, which is seven plus seven. And then we have, um, this one is, uh, this one was, um, yeah, this was, uh, what was this one now? <laughs> this one was, this one was 311. Okay, so one, this could be actually multiple things, actually. But 311, 1 plus 2 is 3, and 6 plus 5 is 11. 311, and 11, 3 times 11 is uh, 33. This was also something else, I believe, and I can't think of what it was, I know. Um, this was also, oh, I'm sorry, that's right. So this is also 33, but it can also, it's also 1 plus 2 plus 6 plus 5, which is 14. And then 14 is 7 plus 7. So it's actually two things. This, this, the way they do this right here with one, two, six, five, it actually, if you keep reducing it, um, you can reduce it this uh, different ways. That's one of the re reason why you might present numbers in different ways is to reduce it in multiple different ways to get multiple different numbers that relate to the same thing. So like I share with you, one plus two is three, six plus five is 11, that's 311, and then three times 11 is 33, which they love that number, of course. And another way of doing it is one plus two plus six plus five is 14. And then, of course, 14 is 7 plus 7. So there's different ways. You can look at it a lot of different ways. Of course, all the all three of these um, are 14. And, of course, 1 plus 4 is 5. So they show what these ultimately reduce down to. And all these, what they were ultimately reduce down to. But that was his, that's the front of his jersey. The back of his jersey, which is his last name, of course, Bryant, is 8. And, again, 62. 6 plus 2 is 8. So that's another significant about 62 or 26. 2 plus 6 is 8 or 6 plus 2 is 8. It doesn't matter. And then we have 26. See how these identically are identical, but they're the reverse. See how this is? This is all design. See, what this should tell you, what all this uh, gematria should tell you, and what um, Dallas does as well as I do, is that we sh reveal what the enemy is doing with gematria. We don't use it in our daily life. We don't really care about it, except the fact that we learn how to use it to devise what they're doing, to understand what they're doing. For example, in World War II, there was a machine called the Enigma machine. Whether you believe it's true or not, I don't care. 
but if think of the concept anyway, okay. Um, so the Enigma machine was when the you know the Nazis had codes that they sent back and forth through um, different you know uh, vehicles and things um, through from you know ship to ship or whatever, and then they sent it. Th they uh, made the code through an Enigma machine, and then there's an Enigma machine on the other side, and it, it made it put it into code, and then it took it down and uh, deciphered it into um their language so and then we had to capture an enigma machine to try to figure out what their codes were and that's normal in military and war and everything you have codes that are sent over the air so the enemy doesn't know they can't retrieve those codes know what they're you're saying to let you know your your side with know what military moves anyway man what am i trying to say here okay anyway um so all we're doing on the good side is deciphering their codes and basically, it's Ephesians 5.11. If you haven't read that in the Bible, read it. Ephesians 5.11. That's what we're doing. Dallas and I, for example, we just do it different ways. Uh, but that's what we're doing to decipher what they're doing to you know, communicate to each other, to communicate predictive programming, to control the masses, to go down a certain path, that they're taking every, the whole world to a new world order, a uh, new world, I mean, one world government, one world religion with... B Stinky B.O. is the Antichrist, is what I'm saying. Now, he doesn't necessarily see it completely that way, but he's been talking about these numbers, and they point to him being the golden man and things like that, which is pretty phenomenal that he doesn't even necessarily know that or believe that yet. <laughs> I'm going to try to work on him and show him. He doesn't even know about all my over 400 reasons why Obama is the Antichrist, um, at least all the details anyway. So then down here, Bryant, and let's just keep going here. Okay, so down here, Brian, of course, these two are together. And then 623 in Jewish Shamatra. Why is that significant? Now, I'm going to tell you in a little bit, if you don't know. And then uh, how is this connected to um, Stinky B.O.? Well, uh, four, four, 48 backwards is 84. 84 is August 4th, the uh, month and day Obama was supposedly born. And then we have, um, there's another way, several ways you can do this as well. However, the way I see this is 4 and 9 plus 2 is 11, 4, 11. 4 times 11 is 44. Again, how you reduce, how you combine these numbers, how you reduce them, um, how you, uh, you know, put basically uh, what they call, um, <laughs> I keep forgetting the name of it, um, what they call um, combining numbers um, or, I can't think of the name right now. I've, I've used it many times. Anyway, um, yeah, uh, so th th these all relate to each other. It's really crazy, okay? And how this relates to um, these numbers I'm talking about right now, as far as his death and things, and the birth of the Antichrist and everything. So, uh, of course, Bryant, like I showed you there, was 623 in Jewish um, Jewish Gematria. And then uh, it just so happens to be that Barack Hussein Obama, the full name, is 623 in Jewish Gematria as well, like I was mentioning. That was super substantial. That's impossible, basically. There's so many impossibilities on the Gematria I'm talking about. The numbers are just off the charts. And these things I'm talking about, that's why I'm presenting them to you, because... If you were to try to work them out as tumblers, like each each number, letter sequence as a, t a tumbler on a lock, you'd have a lock that has so many different digits on it. And then you're trying to figure out the combination that where this Bryant would match Barack Hussein Obama as the same exact number. And it just it's impossible. I hope that makes sense. Um, and then where um, they supposedly crashed. Again, I'm saying supposedly because I don't know exactly what happened. Could it be a hoax? It could be a smoke screen, um, all that stuff. Who, who the heck knows? Or he could have legitimately be, been killed. Okay, so, um, but that was all planned. I'm, I'm saying it was all planned for sure. Um, so this place in California, in fact, look at the coordinates. 34-7, there's more going on here. I'm not getting into all of it. And then we have 118. And then look, six nine. add 6 to 9, you get 15. Anything you add 9 to, it stays the same. So you can just get, 9 is a throwaway number. So get th just throw that away. We have 6, 2, 3. 6, 2, 3, 6, 2, 3, or again, 6 plus 9 is 15, 1 plus 5 is 6, 6, 2, 3, still. And then W is 23. There's so much in this. Uh, anyway, I'm not getting into all that. But And then the the helicopter that crashed was called a Sikorsky. I'm not getting into the number, but it's the attack code of 118. Let's, see, look, let's look at the 118 codes here. 118, 118. Okay, there's so much more to this. And then he was born, Kobe Bryant was born on August 23rd, 1978. And again, to the elites, we're, they're two months off of us. So August is the eighth month to us, but to the elites, August is the sixth month. So he was born, and again, born on 623. 
We're talking about the birth of the Antichrist here. So 623. So many ways Kobe Bryant um, completely equals um, Stinky B.O., okay, the former president of the United States, Mr. B.O., okay. Um, so that is what I'm saying. I'm showing you a lot more connections than j even just this. So here he is right here. Um, the two different time, uh, you know, there's a, a space between when he was at the Lakers the first time and the next time. And they had a different number, okay? And that's all purpose. This is all stage. This is all choreographed, okay? Because of these numbers. And I'm going to show you what they are. So first of all, Lakers' main color is gold. And that just so happens to be 18 in Jewish reduction. And it just so happens to be 81 in Jewish. Okay, and why is this all? Because, listen, the, when we're talking about the Golden Gate, okay? And he's in California, which is the state of the uh, Golden Gate Bridge and all that stuff. We're, they're talking about the Golden Gate opening and that's what I've been talking about. And he talks about that as well, Dallas, about the Golden Gate opening and everything, the Golden and the Silver Gate. And we have that in common and different things in common, which is very interesting. And that's what they're signaling. So gold is both 18 and 81, okay? And how does that have to do with Corey Bryant? Well, I'll tell you in a second. And then also we have purple. So purple is in their colors as well. Purple in English ordinal or English simple English gematria is 88. And purple also in reverse English gematria. So I'm using, uh, I used English gematria, which I don't know if he uses very much. I haven't seen him use very much or maybe at all. Um, English gematria is just times six. Everything in simple gematria times six because, you know, uh, the Antichrist uh, is known for 666 and everything. Everything is times six. So uh, purple in reverse English gematria. So instead of A equaling 6, B equals 12, C equals 18, or in simple gematria, A equals 1, B equals 2, C equals 3, then in reverse English gematria, Z would equal 6, and then Y equals 12, X equals, I don't know how do I do this backwards, <laughs> X equals uh, 18, that kind of thing. So it, purple equals 444. Four, four. Well, why is that important? Well, um, like I said, Stinky B.O. is known by his purple or another way of looking at it. He's worn his favorite color tie to wear when he was president was purple. Um, he's sig signified by, um, by, uh, ultraviolet and ultraviolet is the highest vibration of light. And that has to do with, uh, that represents in the physical Lucifer. So Lucifer also right there in, in, in 444 in normal English Gematria. And then you have it reversed in 444. Reverse English Gematria is his color. <laughs> That's why you see a lot of purple lately in this in this world. Especially you'll see uh, Ultraviolet. And there's a m movie called Ultraviolet. There's a song by YouTube called Ultraviolet. Listen to those lyrics. It's really crazy. Anyway. So, I'll give you some more information here about these two colors. And again, that's the Golden Gate's going to open. And then at that time of you know this transition, we're having ultraviolet, you know, it's a symbol of Lucifer coming through the portal and taking over the little 444, which is 44, which is the 44th Prez Stinky B.O. That's what this stuff means. And then on two, in 2006... Um, and this is just uh, on this day in history on 2019. I pulled it. So, but on January 22nd on in 2006, on this day in history, January 22nd of 2006, in his 666th game. Again, um, uh, Dallas covers this in his video as well. Kobe Bryant had his Salvador Dali masterpiece. Not even in my dreams, Bryant said after scoring a career high 81 which was 66% of his team's total. Now, if you believe this all is coincidence, well, you, you need to check yourself. I mean, again, the numbers are off the charts on all this. I'm going to show you so many off the charts coincidences that there's no such thing, of course, as coincidence, really. And super, we have a super ultra coincidence that the numbers are one in trillions or something like that, which a lot of these are. It's really... Um, impossible. So the only answer is that they were they were designed and they were manipulated. They were created basically by people and the enemy to uh, manipulate things. Okay, so let me give you some examples of that. So again, a 666 game. Again, this is another way he's tied to Stinky Bo as the uh, Antichrist 666. Okay. Um, now let me show you this. So again. Uh, 2006, you take the zeros out, and it's 26. That's the day he died. 
okay, the exact day of the month he died, okay, and then on, if it was January 22nd, so Jan is 1, it's also 11, so it's 11.22 as well, and that's big too, I've talked about 11.22 is when Candy was killed, 11.22 to the, um, and again, um, Dallas is going to talk about that as well, 11.22, that's really big as well, and of course, 11 plus 22 is 33, okay, so, but if you just look at it, January, and then 2 plus 2 is 4, we got the 14, and then which is 7 plus 7. Okay, now I'm going to hit this. And then 8 plus 24, so if you just add his two jerseys together, okay, and before I say, before I do that, actually, I'm going to say this again. On January 22nd of 2006, in the 66th game, 666th game, Kobe Bryant had his, in quotes, Salvador Dali masterpiece. Okay, one thing you, if I shared in my videos many, many times, is that when usually when a news story, when they put things in quotes in a weird spot, I mean, Salvador Dali masterpiece, why not, you know, Rembrandt or why not, whatever, it's code. And then again, in quotes again, not even in my dreams, it's code, it's gematria, Bryant said after scoring a career high 81, which is code. And I'm, I already showed you what 81 is, is right here, gold, see, golden gate. That's why they're showing 81. That's why he had 81 points. It's the Golden Gate, the gold. Um, it's also 18, which is 81 backwards, and 81, 18 is 6 plus 6 plus 6, which is 666. And then, of course, 66% 66 of, 66 of his team's total. Again, that's 66666. I mean, basically, it's just crazy. Now, let me keep going here. So 8 plus 24 is 32. Well, why is that important? Well, we're going to get into that here. Okay, so he said, not even in my dreams, or they're, at least they're saying that. I mean, who knows if he actually said that, but maybe he, let's just say he did. Well, that just happens to equal 216. Well, what's 216? 216 is the 216th day of the year, which is Barack Obama's supposed birthday, because he's a clone. He didn't really was, wasn't really born on that exact day. That's all, so the numbers work out, and all these incredible coincidences and massive Things work together as I'm as I've shown in the past, and then of course it's 81, 81 again, and he just so happened to have 81 points in that game. Please, and then in English Gematria, which this is called Sumerian, but it's really English Gematria, simple Gematria times six um, is 12, 96, which is nine plus six is 15, which is one plus five is six, which is one two six. Okay, again that was the day he died, January 26. And he, and then on a 666 game, he had 81 points. And then 81 backwards is 18, which is 6 plus 6 plus 6. I mean, are you kidding me? And then he, he had a Salvador Dali masterpiece, which is 126. There we go. 126. Again, 126. Okay. And then 54. Well, why is 54 important? I'm going to get into that in a minute here. So much to that. And then there's 81 again. And then guess what? Right here, 1 plus 1 plus 8 plus 8 is 18 and backwards is 81 that's how many points he had um 18 is also eight, 9 and 9 99 is a big deal i've been talking about for a long time with the dead bush and the coming dead president uh trumple and the dead lion king or the lincoln and that's going to be still happen you know i'm not sure when and everything but we'll we'll see here like i said 216 Barack Obama's day of birth, the day of the year that he was supposedly born, is 6 times 6 times 6. And that also um, equates to Archie. So Archie, last year, Archie, the royal baby was born. His name was Archie. And that was the 126th day of the year. He was born on May 6th, which was the 126th day of the year. And Archie has to do with Archer and Apollyon, um, which comes from the bottomless pit, is the archer or Apollo is the archer, okay, with hunts. And I'm going to talk about the hunter. Um, I'm talking about the hunter killer here pretty soon here. Okay, and then again, 18 equals is 6 plus 6 plus 6, and then 216 is 6 times 6 times 6. So it just happens to be in all these numbers. I don't think so. And again, and check out this. one one two six is 21 times 6, which is 216. It's just, it's nuts, okay? And then, like I said, that's 18. So, and then also 1, 1. So if you add the 88 together, or 8 plus 8 together is 16. Then we have 1, 1, 1, 6. Upside down and backwards is 9 slash 11, 9, 11. 
for the coming of 9-11 that they really are talking about. Okay, and then his daughter, this is really crazy as well. Here's the 54s again, okay, the 54s. I'm going to talk about what those are very, very soon here. And then she happens to be in Sybil Dramatria, 126. I mean, are you kidding me? Impossible, impossible, okay? And then we also have, we have two things. Again, it's how you reduce these, how you combine these. So 1 plus 9 is 10. Take with the 0, you have 1, 8, 18. We have 18 again, or 81 backwards. Or we have 9 plus 8 is 17, so we have 1, 1, 7. 1, 1, 7 is 11 times 7, which is 77. So we have 18 or 77. Both are both apply. It's crazy. So 77 is just 7, 7. Again, they're into 7, 7. In my next video, I'm going to show you how... I believe all this is coming together for 77 and 777 um, and how we're going into the 88 um, through the 77s. Seven okay, it's just, um, I'm going to show you my next time frame, which is, I just got a massive download from the Lord this morning or today um, in the shower, and I'm totally blown away by the 77s seven and what's going on with that. And that has to do with the Golden Gate alignment I was talking about and the Golden Gate Bridge. I mean, the whole Golden Gate opening and when that will open, possibly. So I'm hopefully I have it right finally this time. But again, it's my grand guess. Like I said, my grand guess, which is GG, which is 7-7. Seven, seven, because GG, his daughter, her name is GG. She's Gianna, but she goes by GG. Why does she go? Why does she go by GG? Because it sounds like GG, even though it's G I G I, and a GG is seven seven. G is a seven letter of the alphabet. Died at thirteen. They love thirteen. In fact, my apple roll is a thirteen day process. And they love thirteen. It's rebellion as well. All kinds of stuff. And then Kobe died at age forty one, and that is significant. Like I said, for a couple different reasons. One is it's back. It's fourteen backwards, which is seven plus seven because they love seven seven. Also, it's forty one because Mister Dead Bush, uh, George H. George H. W. Bush, um, died. Um, last year on November 30th, and um, he was the 41st president, and he's Mr. Th Skull and Bones 322, or 322 is CV. Um, again, it's death, Skull and Bones. And this all ties back to each other. In fact, I keep showing things that revolve right back to each other and find a path right back to themselves, a path to something that relates and then comes right back many, 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 many times. And the only way all this could happen is if it was planned, it was uh, designed None of this is organic, but they want you to think it is. And I'm proving it's not. So 13 plus 41 is 54. That's what 54 means. Super Bowl 54. In fact, they both apparently died seven days. Again, seven days before. And I just put B4 short. Before Super Bowl 54. And again, 54 is 45 backwards. Trumple 45, which he is going to be eliminated soon. When all this attack days happen very soon, if it's in the time I'm saying that's coming up in my next video, we will see. But it's also showing 45. Okay, it's crazy. 54 is 45. And they both both their ages add up to 54. And they died seven days before the Super Bowl. Give me a break. Just, and also so they can be shown on the Super Bowl, shown to millions of people with all this coding and everything. So GG is 7-7. Seven, seven, okay. And I'm going to show you not just the sound of it, GG, but I'm going to show you how GIGI -G -I is as well. And then same thing as Gilbert Gottfried, who talked about the attack on the Golden Gate Bridge. And it was a month and a half or a month or something before 8-11 last year. And he said there's going to be, you know, and he, he spoke in Gematria, which I should cover that again sometime. And then recently we had the G7 Summit, which is 7-7. Um, things like that, all this code, okay? And look at GG. This is absolutely impossible, okay? Why is 32 important? Well, let me show you this. In all these ciphers, for her nickname or whatever to actually equal 32 on all of them, that is off the charts. Off the charts. There's no way. And I'm going to show you why 32 is so important, okay? Let's go back to GG, which is 32. That's why I'm talking about it. 32 is, and that's English ordinal, the first one on the bottom. And it's, that's, so GG is also, if you can see here, 
you have the nine, and then I is nine, and I is nine. So nine is a throwaway letter because anything you add to it stays the same. So that's why G G, whether it's spelled G I G I or just G, sorry, G I G I or G G, is still seven seven because nine is throwaway. Nine is also a deceptive number because of that. Okay, and then check this out. Why does that relate as well? Because basketballs, goats, greatest of all time, sports greatest of all time, it just so happens to be that the two greatest of all time basketball players wore 23, and one was a Laker as well. Please, Kerr, please. In fact, that's why 32 is backwards 23, and the elite love 23 for a number of reasons, and I've shared many of those reasons why Um it's how many chromosomes are in e from each parent uh, because it's, it relates to a birth. It's many, many things. Two times three is six. So if you have 23, 23, and 23, it's 666. Six, six. Or it's two plus three is five. So if you have 23, 23, and 23, as far as chromosomes, adding the mark. So tw three sets of 23 chromosomes, one from the parent, one from the, uh, one from the father, one from the mother, one from technology, then you have the, the mark. And so that's 555 five, five as well. And that is Zionism. Um, and so was, anyway, there's a lot to all this and without me explaining every single thing, it's just impossible. I can't. Okay. So, um, he's called, Jordan is called the goat, the greatest of all time. There's 23 again. And there he is as when someone did some, uh, artwork with him with a goat head. Can you think of anybody who's a goat that's black? Hmm. Well, I wonder who could it be? And then he's wearing black white and red and it's a bull also that he's sacrificing to so he is the greatest of all time he is the goat and michael jordan had a thing about sticking out his tongue all the time because he's showing a dead sheep or a dead goat because he's the goat he's the dead goat or the dead sheep see look tongue out tongue out the dead sheep see this is all about sacrifice like I mentioned in the Super Bowl, the teams that were in the last Super Bowl 54 had white and red. And then, of course, San Francisco also had gold because the Golden Gate Bridge, because the Golden Gate will open um, to a sa to sacrifice. Because uh, actually, the, it's be the Silver Gate, which will drop off Lucifer to the ground, to the earth. And then uh, Jesus will come to the Golden Gate and grab his, at the same time, grab his faithful bride from the earth at the same time, roughly the same time. Um, taking us away and then we'll be getting get immediately given power and different bodies and come back to the tribulation to kick some butt as his arrows and that's in several of the prophets in the old testament and other things so um anyway and for the, for the faithful that have been following and know jesus i'm telling you and so this is sacrifice this is um this is blood purifying a white purified altar and then it's the bull god um, it's Molech. It's sacrifice to Molech, and it's the dead sheep and goats is why he's doing the tongue out. Do you think he's just doing it for no, for no reason? No, just because he can't control his tongue? No, he's doing it because he's part of the initiated in all this stuff, and he just so happens to be the goat. Okay, well, who else is the goat? It's Obama, as people call him. I call him right now Stinky B.O. Obama. Um, call, call, call him Barack Akhenaten because he's Akhenaten. He's a clone of Akhenaten. It's pro been proven in many ways. Um, and I have, like I said, over 400 reasons why Obama is the Antichrist. And I'm going to show you more here in this video, which is pretty mind blowing. So I've shown many things in different videos. In fact, remember I mentioned 1122 earlier? Well, this is the Newsweek date. It's 1122, November 22nd. He's the god of all things, like the Shiva statue in front of CERN. He's, you know, juggling everything with all these multiple arms because he's a god of all things. Okay. Um, and then he was, or again, god of, god of all things, is goat, G-O-A-T. And then he was supposedly in high school in Hawaii. I mean, okay, let's just say he was. I don't know. Who knows the actual truth? Uh, Punahau, he, it was his, he was number 23. Do you remember that? 23, 23, 23. Black men, I mean, are you kidding me? Do you are you getting this? They, they're called the goats. Both these guys are goats, greatest of all time. He's called in Newsweek the God of all things, and he's number twenty. He was number twenty three, and he's a basketball. Player. Are you kidding me? 
I mean, here's a connection to Kobe Bryant again, and, and how so? Because Kobe Bryant's jersey in high school like his was 33, but Puna Howe in full reduction equals 33. Are you getting this? Hope you are. Do you see these connections? It's impossible, basically. It's impossible. All these things keep coming back around. And I'm showing you in this video for sure other things as well, but how Kobe Bryant is inextricably linked to Obama, the stinky B.O. Antichrist. Okay, because he's nasty. He stinks. He's stinky. He's, he's Beelzebub, Lord of the Flies. I call him Beelzebutthead. I can't stand him because he's evil and I don't can't stand people that are pose as good like Trump or thin skin and they're really evil. They're part of the whole club. And I have I've proven it many times with tons of evidence that he is part of the club. Trumple and Ob and uh, Stinky B.O. are in the same club. Now check this out. So we have iPad Goat, right? And I've talked about this in previous videos, but I'm gonna cover this again because it has to do with what I'm talking about. Uh Tar Tar Tarret. Tarret, however you say that, or Taurus, or Ipi, or Ipet. The great female was the ancient Egyptian goddess of maternity and childbirth, protector of women and children. Like Bess, she wore a both a fierce demonic fighter. She was what well, she wore. She was a both a fierce demonic fighter as well as a popular deity who guarded the mother and her newborn child. And as you notice, she is a hippopotamus. There's a belly, a huge fat hippopotamus with, you know, breasts and everything, okay? And why is that important? Well, Obama is I pet's goat, god of all things. And that's another play on what I pet goat is. It's many, many things. There's many, many connotations of many things. A lot of people have different takes on it, and a lot of things are very, very much different messages. My main message is I'm trying to show people when the attack days are and what it's really trying to say as far as what's happening, what's going to happen to the United States. And I think I've shown the most as far as how it relates to New York and Hawaii and how these mega tsunamis are coming and then there will be a nuclear attack finally and things like that. And then there's other esoteric and, um, you know, all kinds of meanings, all kinds of, uh, you know, multi-symbolisms and multi-layers meanings on every scene. And I've had go to this phenomenal how much. Okay, but like I said, so he's the goat, so he's inside the cube, and he's going to break out of the cube in a sense, or the 88, the cube within a cube, which is the Tesseract. I shared this way in the past, um, or more in the past, but uh, the cube within a cube is the eight, each cube has eight corners, which is, or it represents in a sense, I'm not get eight dimensions or whatever, not dimensions, but... Anyway, each cube has eight corners. There's other reasons for it, but a cube within a cube is is basically they're going to break out of this dimension, of this, this um, what we know as. Um, so the, the cube, he's breaking out of the cube through the hole, and he's Ipet's goat, and here's Ipet. So he comes through this opening right here as he, when he dies, and then he's going to be resurrected going down this river here under, under in the... Um, underground or i mean i'm trying to think of what do you say this um man i'm a little tired today so i'm not the 100 percent here um uh you know uh, what do you call it the and the river sticks and stuff is in the underworld is what i'm trying to say so it's a lot of a lot of representations and stuff but this is this is a hippopotamus mouth open opening see and that's uvula kind of in the back of the throat there and there's an egg right there which says 9v9d or ivid which is basically covid and which is pepsi and which is many many things and that shows the 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 death and resurrection as an egg of sinky bo anyway and then we have mamba is back and i immediately think obama is back because mamba is very similar to obama in fact it's almost reversed and you, the A's take the M's, and then and there's a 1 O, but uh, it's so similar, it's ridiculous. And so we know Obama's coming back. The ones that know, ones that don't, you, you, I'm trying to show you this. If you listen um, and look at this, we have purple again. In fact, we have ultraviolet. As you see, it's how it's lighted coming down onto him. Ultraviolet is coming down, and it's lightning. It's a storm, like Trump said, the storm is coming, okay? 
and then lightning is Barack Obama. Lightning falling from heaven is his name. That's what his name means in Hebrew. Barack Obama is lightning falling from the heights. And here it is. He's a representation of Obama. And why is he called the Mamba? Several reasons. Again, it's similar to Obama, Mamba. Okay. And then um, I'm going to touch on this real quick. Another black person that's in media that has ultraviolet as his power. He's lit up by ultraviolet. Are you kidding me? Is the Black Panther. Black Panther is 48 and 48. Again, it's reverse is 8-4. Obama was born on 8-4, August 4th. And then uh, 213 is 2. And then 1 plus 3 is 4. 24. Uh, Kobe Bryant's number was 24. And then that's 42 backwards. And why is that important? Because 42 is a serious number for the Antichrist because the Bible says he will reign for 42 months, prophetic months in the tribulation. Okay, so 42 is huge for the Antichrist. And again, backwards, that's why Kobe wore 24 as well is because it's backwards 42. And everything's backwards, upside down, or upside down and backwards with these uh, jack wagons. Anyway, and then we have 33. And then, of course, we have... In complete English gematria, Black Panther is 666. So that relates to, um, and also to uh, Sneaky B.O. being a beast or a Black Panther. Okay, back to this guy here. The Mamba deal. Okay, this is his symbol. If you look at the very bottom underneath back here, it shows a symbol, Kobe Bryant. What is this? Well, this is the this is the Black Cube. So these, these lines here are really showing the black cube without showing the whole thing. And then we have a female uh, right side up and a male upside down. Yeah, uh, exactly. Female area and then a male upside down as well. So that has to do with conception and birth. And that's what this is. He's, he's, his symbol is conception and birth. And then in the middle of it, these intersecting lines of the um, cube, the black cube. And it's black because there's black lines here. So that's what this is, a male and female thing. And then again, it's a com combination of a, a mixture of ultraviolet, as you can see in there, and hot pink. Pink and ultraviolet. And I'm going to tell you that why it's been coded in iPad Go, and I've shared this many times. Okay. And then in the center, the cube is really in the center of this, which is the Star of Molech or, you know, Israel's symbol for the Star of David, which is really not. It's the Star of Molech or Rafam which is really the black cube. It's what they worship, really. They worship the black cube and what's in the black cube. And that's in uh, iPad Goat. Statue of Liberty is on the star of Molech. Okay, also, here's Obama. Obama, uh, Sinky B.O. At first, his hands or his have gloves and they're shaped like an egg cracking and he's like eating it like he's a dragon. And uh, like I said, his... Um, ultraviolet tassels pointing to the dragon because that's telling the truth. He graduated from being the president to having his tassel at the front, which he becomes the Antichrist, and that's pointing to the dragon. And he's before his hands turn to praying hands because there is actually a, a Christian baby inside the egg, and that's shown later in iPad Goat. Um, and it goes from an egg to praying hands, which means the praying child's inside the egg, and he's trying to eat the egg. And he's in a pink chair, and he has an ultraviolet tassel. Pink and ultraviolet mix. As you see on the edge here, ultraviolet and this pink, hot pink in here. And I've showed it many times from many movies and stuff like Black Panther, different things with this pink and ultraviolet mixed. It's crazy. Or both pictures, all kinds of ads, all kinds of stuff that have to do with all this. And then, of course, right here in these snowflakes, these snowflakes are shaped like the Star of Molech right there or Israel Star or whatever. That's what it really is. It's 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 a star of sacrifice to Molech. And again, we're talking about there's going to be mass sacrifice to bring in the new world order or the tribulation or when these gates open because God knows what's going to happen and the enemy knows what he's planning to destroy many many people's lives at the same time. Okay, with the first the attacks on New York and probably maybe Jerusalem. Um, at the same time, possibly with Trumpel being dis dispatched and possibly even a uh, stinky B.O. And then he's going to come back to life, possibly. Now that I don't know if it's going to be symbolic or literal, but I'm very confident Trumpel is going to be taken out. And then there'll be a few days later there's the tsunamis on both east and west coast. Then a few days, a couple of days later, we'll have the uh, nuclear attack on the United States. 
Um, and this is all coming down the line because coronavirus CV is taking off like crazy or COVID-19, whatever you want to call it, taking off like crazy. And it's going to keep exploding. And we're going to start seeing the United States, I'm sure, very soon. Anyway, here we go. And um, why is Obama Mamba? Obama Mamba. Do you see that at all? I mean, hopefully you see that. Do you see the similarities there? Why is Obama Mamba? Well, why is Kobe Bryant one of many representations of the Antichrist and one of many black representations of the Antichrist? Because um, Obama is actually not black. He's actually a Syrian. He's a clone with a Syrian DNA mo ma mainly, mostly. And he's actually a hybrid. But um, that's why he signs his name with an O with a line through it because he's the golden mean or the golden ratio um, they believe he's perfect because he was designed, uh, he was, uh, he was made in a test tube or whatever. Anyway, so why is he, why is Obama Mamba? Well, Black Mamba's 23 and we know his number was 23 and we know there's a lot of associations to him with 23. Um, and I'm going to get into more of them here or 32, which is back 23 backwards. Well, here's his presidential portrait and I've shared this a little bit before, we get into a couple more things. So here he is, and he's the snake in the garden. And there's so many things in this. Different people pointed out there's a um, serpent head behind here. There's all kinds of stuff. There's a sixth finger hiding right here that makes him Nephilim with Nephilim DNA. We know the thumb's back here, but this looks like there's a sixth finger and it's underneath the second finger. Or this, yeah, it's obvious. There's so many things. It's crazy. But I pointed out that his bottom foot, oh, this bottom foot looks like a snake. If you just squint your eyes a little bit, it looks like a snake slithering. This looks like a snake on the ground slithering around the leaf. Close your, squint your eyes a little bit, look at it, and you can imagine a black mamba slithering. Like you can imagine him slithering through the garden, and that's a perfect angle. If you see that, it comes down. It looks like a snake's head right here. And this is what this is on purpose. This is all on purpose. The negative, the positive and negative space coming together. And then his legs upside down are, check this out. You won't believe this if you don't know this. It is three. This is three. Okay, I can't really point it with this pointer, but this is a three. This starts with three. The middle comes down. That's a three. Squint your eyes and look at this. And then this is a two right here. A two. I mean, I can't point at it very well. What if I can do this? Let me do this. I can do this with my... I can do this. I'm not tired of this. So I'm going to do this. Three. Whoop. I didn't write that very well, but it's three. And then this is two right here, two. I'm kind of holding my phone in the air and trying to do this. But it's three, two. It's crazy. It's right here. Go back in this video and before I drew on it and look at it, squint your eyes and look at it. But it's three, two. It is clear as day if you squint your eyes a little bit and squint your eyes at this this snake thing right here. You know, his foot, it looks like a snake. So they to the, through the grass. He is the black mamba. He is the snake that was in the garden because he will eventually indwell the Antichrist. I mean, the uh, Lucifer. Um, and then look at these right here by the snake is, oh, well, imagine that. Ultraviolet flowers right here, right by his foot. Right by both of his feet, actually. Both feet has ultraviolet. That's what I'm saying. I've said that many times. He's Mr. Ultraviolet. Okay. Okay. And then check this out. Again, eight in the Lakers jer jerseys of Kobe Bryant, eight plus 24 is 32. 32. Crazy. You see that? Okay. 32. Man. Or 23. He's 23. Okay. He is 23. He is 32. It's crazy. I'm going to show you again here. Barack. Barack is 18, 18. Are you kidding me? We we're just talking about 18. 6 plus 6 plus 6 is 18. Six plus, he's Mr. 666. Six, six. Okay, 6 plus 6 plus 6 is 18, 18. And then 126, one, two, the day Kobe Bryant died. Okay, are you kidding me? This is really pointing to Barack Obama. Okay, the stinky BO, 45 or 54 backwards, whatever. And then 216, his first name is his date of the day of the year. 216th day of the year, which is August 4th, which is supposedly his birthday. Hussein is 32. Again, I just showed you 32 in his legs, in the garden, the snake in the garden. Are you kidding me? And then his last name is 32 as well. 32 in simple 
14, which is 7 plus 7. We have 13 again. We have 13 backwards, which is 31. And then we have his day, his month and day again. So he, in his own name, is encoded who he is. And it connects him. All these numbers connect him to several, many people that have been all made up to be examples of him and of his coming birth in the world. And I'm showing it. I'm bringing it. If you can't see it, sorry. I'm... You'll find out soon enough, and hopefully you actually leave with the faithful, um, but you'll have another chance. Hopefully you will take that chance. Um, I'm going to share you about Hunter Killer, okay, because like I said, um, the the Lord of the Bottomless Pit is Apollyon or Apollo, and Apollo was the hunter. He was the archer, and that's why the baby that was born on the 126th day of the year last year was Archie, the archer, Apollo, the hunter killer. And then look at this. This is an iPad goat. This is a submarine right here. I've shown this many times. And right here, encoded here and here is 921 or 129 right here, both in both places. I've shown this before. And then Obama's uh, CQBO's foot is a submarine. It looks like a submarine. And the Apple will go against this on the, and this is showing right here, for example, the 10th day. But the, there's there's 11th day, the Apple rolls back the other way, it splits in half, and there's a total of 13 days. Anyway. But it was released, this movie was released on October 26th, which is, take away the zeros, one, two, six. Hunter Killer. Are you kidding me? Okay. And this will blow your mind if you understand how impossible this is. Uh, one of his former names, one of Stinky B.O.'s former names was Barry Satoro. Okay. And look at all these ciphers. We have English, simple genius, Jumatra, full reduction, single reduction, reverse ordinal, English Gematria and reverse English Gematria really is what these are. Okay, base ciphers, I mean, very important ones to me. And in every single one, Hunter Killer hits every single one. Look at this. So this is really fascinating. So English Ordinal, reverse English Ordinal. So exactly the reverse of Barry Satoro's name, the exact reverse of English is the same number. These full reduction are exactly the same across here. But look at it. We have English ordinal and we have reverse ordinal. Reverse of this ordinal is 153. We have single reduction and we have reverse full reduction. So this is the reverse of that is 72. Both are 72. We have English Gematria and reverse of English Gematria. We have English Gematria matching the reverse and the English Gematria matching the reverse right here. I mean, it's like he, in every single thing, he's the exact backwards of what it is and it's telling who he is. So... Barry Satoro is, and I repeat, is the hunter killer. And when he gets his power and the bride of Christ is gone, the man child born into heaven at the same time, because it's called the, and I've called it the twin birth. That's why they're into twins. It's the yin and yang. It's the dark. He's the dark female evil birth. And uh, the male ch man child is the light white ma male example of it um, birth and then he will basically hunt and kill anybody who opposes him that's why Barry Satoro is the numbers show it exactly right here he is the hunter killer and so without further ado here is my brother um, Dallas with Whiteboard Gematria all right, and welcome back to Whiteboard Gematria. I'm your host, Dallas, and let's get to it. The coronavirus gets a new name. This is a summary video by request for the ease of sharing. After a big study understanding the coronavirus and how Kobe Bryant is the symbol for the coronavirus, I've compiled this as a quick run-through to show all the numerical co uh, coincidences, overlaps, I don't believe in coincidences anymore, and how it relates to the coronavirus, Kobe Bryant, the Messiah, and the current riddle we are in. So... Let's get to it. COVID-19, the World Health Organization renames the deadly coronavirus, which started in China and where it's currently its most populated effect. China, 35, 26, 28, just as COVID is 53, 26, 82, and 28. So they couldn't pick a more perfect name to represent China with the covid we saw lots of propaganda leading up to this, and we explored the movie World War Z, and Z equals 26. 26 is in China, virus, plague, and God, just as it is now also in COVID. Which brings us to the understanding of a role that Kobe is playing. For Ezekiel 43, 1-3 tells us about the return of the Hebrew Messiah, which states, Afterward he brought me to the gate. 
even the gate that looketh towards the east. And behold, the glory of the God of Israel came from the way of the east, and his voice was like the noise of many waters, and the earth shined with his glory. The golden gate is the place where the Messiah is to return in order to claim his divinity. Kobe Bryant and how he is the golden gate of God. Kobe is said to consist of two kanji words, the first word being ko and the second word being bi. Ko means God and bi means door, which also fits the, since the city of Kobe was built around a shrine which opens the doors to the Japanese gods. So we do get in Kobe the God door or the Golden Gate. Now, when we take the word Kobe to understand it, his association, take the word COVID and put it into the English to Hebrew translator as we're exploring the Hebrew Messiah. Copy the word given to us and put it back into the Hebrew and allow it to translate it back into English and we get Kobe. That's right, the coronavirus is literally the name Kobe. So we have the Kobe virus. And how did his parents come up with this name, this accidentally perfect name? Well, they simply said it was based on Kobe beef, something they saw when they were in Japan. Is this the Golden Gate? Kobe beef, 33. Kobe, 33. And Kobe wore number 33 as a superstar to the point where it was retired for his high school championship jersey. Now we're going to take a look at this very uh, special number in the study, 1122 or 2211. For on January 22nd, the coronavirus became a mass murderer, killing 17 people and infecting at least 500. These are all very interesting numbers as this repeated process, and you will see has, it is repeated over and over again, telling us, and so we will know for sure. For example, on January 22nd, the movie Pandemic, How to Survive a Pandemic, was released by Netflix on the exact same day. January 22nd, 2020. January 2nd, 2020. Oh, they love their propaganda. And how does this relate to Kobe Bryant? Well, on his 666th game, Kobe Bryant scored 81 points. And that's fascinating because that took place on January 22nd. Our Golden Gate, right on cue. Now, it's also fascinating to note that this piece of propaganda, 28 Days Later, which is a movie about another virus plague zombie thing going on, in which the recipients of the plague die 28 days after becoming infected. Well, the caption, 28 Days Later, Your Days Are Numbered, well, Your Days Are Numbered equals 112, our 1122 code. Then we came across this understanding as it relates to the Messiah and the Golden Gate. We find Eddie Murphy is the Chosen One and the Golden Child. Hmm. Well, the Golden Child is a fantasy comedy in which Eddie Murphy is informed he is the Chosen One and destined to save the Golden Child, the Savior of all humankind. The Golden Child is the Messiah and uh, Eddie Murphy is the chosen one. So we start seeing this interesting propaganda-based narrative associating to Kobe. And what do we get? We get these, this child, this chosen one, uh, or sorry, the golden child sitting in the cage, which is a fascinating, fascinating propaganda piece letting us know that we're right in the ballpark for on Super Bowl 2020, February 2nd, we got the kids in the cage, our golden children. So it's fascinating to see this propaganda. And Kansas City Chiefs were the victors of that Super Bowl, which is fascinating considering that Kansas City equals 122, January 22nd. KC as in Kansas City. K is the 11th letter and C is the third letter. Kobe Bryant equals 113. And Obama, our former commander-in-chief. Well, we get the 100th NFL season. So keep this in mind because when we compare how old these pandemic numbers are, we actually see some pretty fascinating understandings. In 1918, the influenza pandemic was an unusually deadly influenza uh, pandemic. So this was the H1N1's originating 
pandemic. And when we take a look in it, we're going to compare some numbers here. For this was exactly 100 years ago. So we just finished our 100th NFL season. Well, it's fascinating to know that this ended on 19 in December 1920, so 100 years ago. But it's uh, the Super Bowl this year landed on Groundhog Day. And Groundhog Day is a fascinating understanding of a repeating of that day over and over and over again. And here we are 100 years later with the pandemic hitting us just as it hit with the uh, Spanish flu. And it was 100 years ago, which ties in exactly with that Super Bowl. It's also interesting to note that the H1N1, H is the uh, plus one N1. When you put that in, it's gematria equals 24. H is the eighth letter. N is the 14th letter. So 8 plus 1 plus 14 plus 1 also equals 24. And that's pretty interesting considering that Kobe wore the jersey number 24. When we keep reading, we find out that it infected 500 people around the world and uh, popu about 27% of the then population of about 1.8 billion. Including people in the remote Pacifics, the death toll is estimated to have been 50 million and as possibly as high as 100 million, about 3 to 6 point percent. Now, that's pretty interesting sets of numbers here, for that 50 million is a reference to a golden anniversary, the 50th anniversary. It, 50 is also Barack Hussein in Gematria. We also get that 100 million. Well, 100 million is very fascinating because the football game was the 100th NFL football game, and 100 years ago, nonetheless. Now, the 500 is a very interesting number, too. Let's take a quick jump back here to January 22nd, and we notice that China had more than 500 infected. So when we compare the Spanish flu to what we are now going through, the numbers are exactly the same. It's absolutely phenomenal. We are experiencing Groundhog Day. We also take a look at that 100 million. Well, right beside it is a 3 to 6%. What's neat about that is 666 is the 36 triangular number. Kobe, I know I wrote prime there, but it's the triangular number. Uh, Kobe scored 81 points in his 666th game. Well, when we take a look above that 36, we see that 1.8 billion. Well, that's just the mirror of the 81. And from December 12, 1986, the release of The Golden Child, to February 18th, we get... 12,122 days. That's fascinating because there's our 122 in multiple forms. Also, 121 is 11 squared. So we get 1122. If we take those two 11s and drop it down, we get 11 and put the twos to the side, we get 11 and three twos. Well, 222 two, two equals order out of chaos. And again, I said this was December 12th. Well, December is the 12th month. We get 1212 or 1122. And if we take a look and we compare, so this is all days. If we compare it in years, months, and days, we get 33 years, just as Kobe, Kobe Beef, and his jersey, and January 22nd. And that leads us up to the Super Bowl. Absolutely fascinating. From December 12th, uh, 1986 to May 6th, which is the slipped war date, which is 12,200 days. And if you're unfamiliar with that, there was a, let's see if I can actually just find it here. Pardon me. I probably should have had that in here, but just for those who are not familiar with it, here we go. The United States declared war on Iran on May 6th. This was printed January 12th, 112. Iran and the United States had no formal dipl uh, diplomatic relations. So this was slipped out accidentally uh, by, uh, by Google. Now, when we take that accidental slipped war date and we go and compare that, we get 12,200 days. A one, two, two. So from December 12th, the releasing of the golden child to the slipped war date is January 22nd. And December 12th, 1986 to May 14th, which is interesting, that is Israel's 72nd birthday, and we're talking about the Hebrew Jewish Messiah, we find 122 or January 22nd. And don't forget, on January 22nd, there was 17 killed. 17 is the seventh prime. January 22nd and 7. 
Golden and Golden Child, 5730, 105, 24, 57, 204, and 51. Very fascinating because we see the matches of 57, we see the matches of 105 and 51. Well, that 30 is an interesting number because 113 is the 30th prime, and Kobe Bryant equals 113. And that 204? Well, if we drop the zero, we get 24, and just as golden is 24. So we see that Kobe's jersey is number 24 as well. So we see that Kobe is the golden child. And he definitely is gold. He's the golden gate, and the golden child, and the Kobe virus. For in 2008, Kobe represented the U.S. in Beijing, China, in which the coronavirus is now active, winning gold in basketball. He also represented them in 2012 in London, the exact place that 28 Days Later was based, where he won gold for the United States basketball, our golden child, the Kobe virus. The Los Angeles Lakers colors are purple and gold. And after he died, in memorandum, they lit up the buildings in gold. Now, snakes could be the source for the Wuhan coronavirus. Snakes? Well, Kobe Bryant is known as the Black Mamba. Black Mamba equals 211. Black Mamba is 211. China and Black Mamba also share 100, as in the 100th NFL season, and those 100s we were just looking at earlier. When we take August 23rd, 1978, Kobe's birth, to his death in January 26, 2020, it's 497 months and three days. That's pretty fascinating considering that 4,973 is the 666th prime. And from his birth to January 22nd, 2006, the day that he scored 666 points, or rather 81 points on his 666th game, that makes 27 years 21 weeks and 6 days. That's pretty fascinating because 27, well, 103 is the 27th prime, giving us a 13. Kobe died at the age of 41, and 41 is the 13th prime. 21 weeks and 6 days is 216, and 216 equals 6 times 6 times 6. So the script for Mr. Kobe being Bryant, and Kobe Bryant being his middle name, on December 18th, Donald Trump's impeachment began. And from then to December 31st, when the first case of the virus was released, was 13 days. 13 days after that was January 13, the Sun and Saturn conjunction, 113. Kobe Bryant equals 113. 13 days later, a total of 26 days, January 26th, Kobe died. Kobe died age 41, his daughter died, age 13, 41, is the 13th prime. Order out of chaos, the motive and operation of the people in charge, we see equals 222 and 777. It's also interesting that if you take K, B, and B, well, K equals 11, 2, and 2, our 1122 code. And if you take a look at just the full reduction values, you get our 222. If you take the 16, 25, and 25 of the letter K, B, and B, and you add them together, you get the number 66. Well, that's pretty fascinating, considering that 20 to 11 is the 66 triangular number. Then we also get 777, and we also get 10 to 2 in the Jewish cipher, so 122, which is January 22nd. Order out of chaos, Mr. Kobe Bean Bryant, and Wuhan virus equals 222 and 210. That's right, in the year of 2020, the virus, China, 26, and the unfortunate names that we have seen through this whole study thrown at certain individuals, we get 26s and 42s, just as Mr. Kobe Bryant wore 24. Saturn, snakes, and Kobe Bryant, the Saturn and Sun conjunction of January 13th, and KB Bryant is 30, the 113th prime. We also see how wired he is in simply with these uh, words and associations with Apocalypse and Kobe Bryant. 113, 41, and 157. Kobe Bryant is the Walking Dead Apocalypse. Kobe's last game, 130, 
he died 41, 13 is the 41st prime, and January 22nd, backwards. From April 13th, 2016, Kobe's last game, to February 18th, which is 28 days later after January 22nd, is 26, our virus number. We also understand that from April 13th to February 8, uh, 8, uh, from his last game again, using years and days, in comparison to weeks and days, we see it's three years, 311 days. So again, we get that three years and 311, the mirror of Kobe Bryant's 113. We also get a 33 and 11. 11 is a reference to L, God, which is also interesting because the 33 reminds us of that Kobe. Kobe beef, Kobe war number 33, and the 33% of angels that fell from heaven was Satan. Kobe is a Satan angel. And to prove it, he's got a lot of rewards from Saturn, the Lord of the Rings. A golden reward. Gigi Bryant. G equals 7, I equals 9. So we get 79, 79. And 79 is the 22nd prime. 2, 2, 2, 2. Like father, like daughter. Gigi, Gematria equals 22. Kobe died 41. Gigi died 13, 41 is the 13th prime, and Kobe equals 41. Again, like father, like daughter. Which brings us back to Obama, because now that Kobe's dead, and the virus is spread, and the gate has been demolished and opened up, we get the American Factory from Mr. Barack Obama. American Factory is the creation of a Chinese-owned automotive glass factory documentary uh, showing, and, and we've been talking about in the study uh, relating to that in a completely different context I don't want to go into here. Instead, we're going to focus on what was said, which is very important in context to the golden child who has now been sacrificed to open up the golden gate. Hollywood's most prized golden man is coming home. So Obama documentary Hollywood's most golden most prized golden man is coming home the golden man well that means the golden child is all grown up that's right the baton has been passed and Bill Gates the father of the coronavirus which is short for William Gates the will I am Gates the Gates of God, the Kobe Golden Gate Bryant with the Bo Brad the Bottomless Pit in World War Z, Barack the Golden Man Obama, our wayward son, thank you Eddie Murphy for he has made it, the golden child is all grown up, you saved the Messiah of the world, the Antichrist figure. If you're unfamiliar with my channel, please come check it out. This video is but a fraction of what really this whole story is about. So I ho hope you come and check it out. And I, I don't know really what to say because this study has completely changed my life. And I want people to hear it and see it. And that is the point of shortening this video. So if you're seeing this, please come and check it out. And until the next time I talk, God bless. Okay, and again, that was uh, my brother Dallas with Whiteboard Gematria. And I'll have a link in the description box. You can check out um, his, his channel as well as I'll have a link uh, for one of his first or maybe his first video about how Gematria works and a little bit of information about it, which is very educational if you don't know. Um, it's a really good one to watch. I highly recommend it. He's got a lot of good things he shares. So um, that was him. And also, I want to thank any all of you that have given and uh, donated to me and my family. Uh, it's been very helpful. I do still need some more as well. If if you are able to give, I would, really would appreciate it. I need a little bit more to get over this hump for the month. Um, so I thank you so much if you're able to give. Thank you so much for your prayers. Um, I've been really feeling them. I, uh, we've been still going through different things as well, of course, under attack all the time. I was feeling dizzy <laughs> for a little while at, earlier, and I'm thankful we prayed against it and it stopped. Um, and so I don't know what that's all about. I still don't know what that's all about. And I'm doing certain things, you know, as far as health-wise, and it's 
do, do, I'm doing a lot better in different ways as well. So um, thank you for all your gifts. And if you're able to give any more or able to give for the first time, um, I would appreciate it. If you, if you are, um, there's a link in the description box below for PayPal. So thank you so much. And this is Exalted Lamb 1 over and out.